Hey guys, welcome back to Don't Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Wednesday, so it's Watch Record Wednesday. <laughs> so I have two whips to share with you guys today. Uh, one I started a while ago and one I just started last night. Uh, and I'm going to say that my hair is a mess today. <laughs> I washed it yesterday and this is how it looks after I wash it. Uh, I did brush it this morning. Uh, I don't know. I think I have natural waves, but I don't know how to take care of them the right way. So uh, this is what my hair looks like. <laughs> It's always uh, real puffy and crazy, especially like if the humidity is high, it'll just fluff out and I'll be walking around and I'll look like Hermione uh, with my hair fluffed out. But I have no idea how to take care of waves or anything like that, so it's just going to look that way. <laughs> Anyways, my two whips. Okay, so they're both technically paid for patterns. Um, one I got off of Etsy and one I got from a book, but I'll, sh I'll, link I'll leave all the links down below if you want to check them out. So the first one is another doll outfit for the 18-inch doll that I got in June. Uh, it's a My Life doll. Um, she's not gonna be able to play with it for like two or three years, but in that time, I want to hoard up clothes for her and then eventually accessories and stuff. Like if I go to the thrift store and find a little baggie of doll accessories or, um, yard selling or something like that, I can grab them up and have them ready for her whenever she's ready for them. Anyways, this one is from Pamela's Adoring Crochet and I'll link her channel and her Etsy shop down below. And this is the birthday outfit. I did like a little poll on one of my Vlogmas videos where I, I had three of her outfits. And then I asked you guys which ones I should make. And the birthday outfit won by a long, like a, a lot. The second place was the mini one. And then the third place was the scrubs. And I will make those two next. Because I want to make all the patterns that I purchased before I buy more. Because I'm really good at doing that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I did start it. I did already mess it up though. <laughs> and I'm not going to rip it back. So I'm using two colors. Um, I'll pop up a picture of what the pattern looks like from Pamela. Um, I decided to just use two colors. So I'm using Red Heart, uh, Light Blue, and White. So this is the body of it. And I messed up a few places. I'm not done with it yet. It's still a whip. Um, somewhere up here. I'm trying to think. I think it's right here. There are three rows that are supposed to be double crochet rows, and I accidentally did half double crochet. And by the time I realized that, I was already way down here, and I didn't want to rip it out. So I was like, well, the dress is going to be short. So uh, I was thinking, after I get done completely with it, I will uh, try it on the doll, and if it's super short, I will just go back and attach white and make some kind of fancy little, you know, make it a little bit longer than like a shell or something, I don't know. Some kind of cute little border to it. Um, I did lay it up against the doll last night, and it looks like it's, it's above her knees. <laughs> this is more like a... I don't know, like a shirt or something <laughs> instead of a, a dress. So I probably will be adding length to it. But that's just because I messed up these rows. <laughs> I did half double crochets instead of double crochets. And um, the only other thing I've changed so far is this little trimmy part here that's worked on these back loops. Um, and the pattern it calls to switch to a size C hook to do that. I did that and it made it super tight and like scrunched up. I know that's probably my tension. So I just went ahead and did a G hook for that. Um, and it made it, you know, the way it's supposed to be. So I got to do, uh, five more of these. Let me see. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Five more rolls of these little white, uh, outlines. <laughs> and then I'm thinking about trying to find some, like an applique or something of a snowflake to put on the top. Um, and then the dress will be done, except I do have to go back and do like a buttonhole, uh, thingy, which I'll do that eventually. But then that's the dress. And then the hat, I messed up on the hat too. But it's a good thing I messed up on it. Uh, so here's the little hat. I'm not done with it. I still gotta make the pom pom and I gotta put the little sprinkles on it. Um, I made this with an H hook and you're supposed to use a G hook. But it's a good thing I didn't because I tried it on the doll last night and it fits right now. So if I'd use a G hook, it might not have fit. So I'm almost done with the hat. I gotta make the pom pom and the little sprinkles. And then all that's left is the little booties. So I'm almost done. <laughs> I'll get just finish these uh, rolls on the dress. Do the button thingy and make the little shoes and then uh, the pom pom. So I'm almost done with that. But that needs to pay for pattern. All of her patterns, I'm pretty sure, all of her doll clothes patterns are $1.99, but she does run sales pretty often. I'm pretty sure I bought these when they were on sale for like around Black Friday or something like that. Um, but she's like, she was having a sale the other day. So she runs sales pretty often. My next whip is from, oops, I just threw my eyes. From all of that stringy eating's book that she put out called Plenty of Fish in the Sea. Right there it is. I'll link it where you can purchase it down below. It's an amazing book. I love all the patterns I've made from it. I pulled it out the other day when I was doing that yarn challenge with Terry. And uh, made the jellyfish that was in here. 
Um, it's in there somewhere. I'm not going to find it, but <laughs> it's the jellyfish. Let's see here. Is it on the cover? It's very small, but it's on there. <laughs> but I mentioned that I wanted to make the seahorse, and um, I was sitting last night. I was like, I'm just going to go ahead and start the seahorse. So I did start the seahorse. This is it. And it's so cute. And I started it with Red Heart Super Saver Ombre Violet. I think it's called Violet. Yeah. So it is the purple one. So I've, so far I only got the head done. <laughs> but that's the head. You can see where it's starting to change color right here from the different purples. That's I love the ombre yarn. And I didn't mark the safety eyes because I'm going to try to use some eyes that my sister made me. She has a Cricut machine. And she made me these one day a while ago. She made me four pairs, I think. And then um, I haven't been able to use them because I haven't been making bigger amigurumis. I usually make smaller amigurumis. So I messaged her and asked her if she could make the same eyes but half the size. So she's working on that now. <laughs> But um, I thought this would be a good pattern to try out her safety eyes on. Now, with these safety eyes, they're not safety eyes, with these eyes, you'll have to glue them on. They're felt eyes, and that would make it not appropriate for children under three because they're the age, you know, where they pick things off and put them in their mouth, so it's a choking hazard. But um, we got them. They're not on there yet. Isn't that going to be adorable? Uh, I, she has... These are pink ones. She gave me yellow ones, green ones, and blue ones. I'm pretty sure with the pink ones. Um, and it's going to have the little round nose. It's going to be so cute. But um, I'm going to put these on there. I don't know how to glue them on there yet. I don't know if fabric glue would do it or if I should just use hot glue. You could, I guess, if you had a really sharp needle and some thread. You could actually sew them on if you wanted to. But I think that's going to be adorable with that big round nose there. Uh, I can't wait to get this done. So I worked on this much of it last night while June was playing in the floor, and then when she's getting tired, I had to stop. So I just started the body increases. Let's see here. Yeah, I got to roll 24 last night, so it's coming along. It looks like it's going to get into the light color down towards the bottom of the seahorse. And then I'm hoping the nose, if, I, if it's not kind of a similar color to the head, I might pull out some yarn to get to a similar color of the head. I'm using a G-hook for this, which is a 4 millimeter. Um... Which is not my typical amigurumi size, but I wanted this to be bigger because of the eyes that I wanted to use. So normally I would use a E or an F hook from amigurumi, so it would come out a whole lot smaller. But I wanted to make something bigger so I can use those eyes because <laughs> I've had them forever and I want to use them. So that's my two whips that I'm working on. Let me know down below what you guys are working on. I am super out of breath this morning. I think I'm getting like congestion and stuff because <laughs> I can like feel it, you know. Anyways, <laughs> well, let me know down below what you guys are working on. Feel free to share any links and stuff. And then also down below in the description box, I will link Pamela's channel, her Etsy shop, and uh, Olive's website where you can purchase the book. Uh, this is a great book. I've made a lot of the patterns out of this. I don't even know how many I've made. Let's see here. <clears throat> made that one. I made the crab. I made the squid. I made uh, the ice cream fish. What's it called? Ice cream roll. <laughs> I made the manatee. And then from this side, I'm working on the seahorse. I've made the turtle. I've made the whale shark. And I've made the jellyfish multiples. And I've made this little thing. So there's only a few on here I haven't made. Let's see here. One, two, three, four. Oh, I made the starfish too. I forgot that. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's only nine that I've not made. So I might as well just make them all. Huh? <laughs> but I made most of them for Jesse. I think I sold the... Uh, this one. I can't remember if I sold it at, the craft, at a craft fair or if I sold it uh, on my shop. Anyways, that is what I'm working on today. We're going to be leaving here in a little bit to take Jesse to my sister's. He's wanting to hang out with his cousin today. So we're going to take him there and then we're going to go shopping, I think. <laughs> I want to go to the antique store that I like going to. But yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to blab this. I'm going to vlog, so I'm going to go blab on that. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in the video. Bye guys.